rubber baby buggy bumpers. Got to get, got to get, uh, got to get warmed up. Got to get. You know, you know what's funny is when you can see the screen of the person who's conducting all this magic in the background for YouTube, and you, and you look over at one of your, uh, one of your, one of your co-hosts, and you see it looks like she's casting magic spells. You know, she's sitting over there doing like Expelliarmus, that kind of thing. You know, Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm. I know. I'm gonna switch to the other water in a minute. But uh, today on the show, we've got a got a really good idea for a show. We were like, hey, what were three whiskeys that during this whole decade of COVID, I don't know if you've been here in America in the last 10 years, we've been suffering from a pandemic, but uh, in the last 10 years, what were the three whiskeys you kept going back to, you know? Like those whiskeys that you're like, hey, hey, babe, let's take a walk on the wild side. And those whiskeys were like, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. And all the color girls say, You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't, dude. <laughs> do do. I mean, Boom. you know, the last thing. Dude, that, I didn't know how to segue that thing, man, at all. Look at this. Are we live? We're Is live. Dancing? Yeah. I look like Will from Dance Gavin Dance. You look like Morticia. And that guy at the end, it looks like Charles. Yeah. The infamous. The mustache. Why do you say I look like Morticia, huh? It's because my the, the lighting. It's all black. You know Charles, Charles's mustache, if he could pull off a Spanish accent right now, I'd say he actually kind of looks like, what's his name? Rob, uh, who is the comedian that did a lot of Adam Sandler films? Why can't I think of his name? Rob right Schneider. Now? Rob Schneider. He's Filipino. You kind of look you, you, ew. you look a little like Rob Schneider. Makes sense. He's German Schneider. Filipino. And you're oh. also white Filipino. You white white Filipino. White Filipino. Oh my lord. Yeah, man. <laughs> gringo. You can do it. There you go. What is this? How the post elections whiskey rage? Post elections whiskey rage. Nah, we don't do any pure here. Uh, couldn't think of a better acronym. So no, no post elections whiskey rage. We're just here to drink whiskey like regular whiskey people. We try to keep politics out of the show because I don't know if you've ever met Charles, but he <laughs> is a diehard Green Party person. I want you. Yeah kill a woman because she didn't put recycling in the right bin in San Francisco and I didn't say anything because I don't want to die because you know what happens if you die? How dare you? You don't get to come back. So I was like, I ain't resin. So I just left it alone. I mean, I'm talking about it now because of the grotto of the statute of limitations. So that lady's body's gone. Yeah, it's been like 10 years plus, right? Yeah, that's how I'm long COVID. I'm not sure if whiskey rage, though, but we can just keep it like neutral. We're just raging because you know, you we, 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 we kind of survived something. Did you say prophylactic whiskey age? Say what you said again. Post election. Post election. Oh, post election. I think you said Whiskey's prophylactic. I was like, I'm sorry. What's the question? All right. Kevin C says Gomez Adams. Correct. Charles could also be Gomez Adams. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, Drew. that's right. Drew, hey, Drew. You tell us Drew. About the ceiling, the sky, all those. <laughs> bad jokes. Yeah. What's up? What's some crazy uh, elections? Uh, being non-American was very interesting to watch and to understand. So that was kind yeah, of I didn't fun. Know what American was it the first election you've been? No, uh, this is the the second election that I've been in the country for. Mm -hmm. I think this was very heated. It was very close, which I think was really interesting to see. Yeah. Um, the whole electoral college because... thing was really interesting because it never really got a breakdown as much. Like you know, most countries it's, when we it's find popular. Out how many people didn't vote? Will vote? Yeah, I think it's a like people say I'm not voting. What this. Australia and stuff like they're ninety <laughs> plus percent voting. But with the U.S., it's oh, like America's less than. Like, yeah, it's like sixty percent. Yeah, which is tops. which in my head, I'm like, that's last, really interesting. Yeah, last election was only like forty eight percent that even voted. Because yeah. the rest of us were like, well, this is dumb. That makes you no gotta, sense for me. Like, yeah, that's we're not doing this. You know, what doesn't make sense about it? If, the if people don't want to vote, it doesn't matter. You, well, you still want to have a voice, right? No, mm -hmm. if the choices are crap, you don't have a voice. That's how it feels. Yeah, fair enough. I guess it's oh. different, right? Anyway, for those of us who are third party. Yep. Anyways. But uh, since it's a whiskey, whiskey show. show, exactly. 
So whiskey for president. That's all I'm saying. So Bianca, what's in your glass? What's in my glass? Yeah, we'll start with you. Well, something that Wally loves, as you now very see. Well know. Wait, Octomore. If Octomore ran for president, I wouldn't vote for. Him. Well, Octomore. <laughs> the president of whiskey, you wouldn't do. Not running for president. Um, but it definitely is uh, something I really enjoy. So, the set I still have left. It's eleven point one, and it's delicious. Bianca, with the octomores, like, and Wally, I think you know this too. Like, there's certain the number, uh, the the one after the point, it's like one, two, or three, the right? Dot one, dot two, dot three, or yeah. dot four. No, okay, this One's is four. Organic, all done on the island. One is virgin cast? I don't know. I don't know. They have weird. If you go online, one is always travel retail. Yeah. No, number two is travel retail. retail. Number okay. Three is the one made up completely from the property, yeah. and then you okay. alternate on on years so every four four years. They do uh, or they alternate. Wait, they do the eleven point four, and they didn't do that. They did the ten year this year, so they alternate. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And they're all different, right? They're all different. So, like, if you are an Octomore fan, you would want to have those different points. Yes. I mean, that would be yeah. a great – if you'd like it. But they're all extremely different. Uh, okay. I did a taste of the, the whole thing. Is, but I didn't try the 11.2, so let me re- retract that, uh, which is the one that's re- travel retail. Travel. It's really difficult for for us to receive. So. Well, it's duties and taxes, the right? So. 11.3 in the 10-year, well, good. My favorite is actually the 11.1, which is the what well, we said the organic one. Just um, and the 11.3 was my second favorite. Awesome. You know what's really good? 8.3. Just kidding. <laughs> you don't even like that. <laughs> no, the 8.3 had 309 parts per million. It's the highest ppm they've ever seen. And uh, I have favorite. Had it. I, is that? I, I tried it because I wanted to know. Was that the San Francisco one? The, no. No, that was no, no, that no. was nine. No. The San Francisco one was a new release. Yeah. Um, all right, Wally, what's in your class? Uh, Lisa Whiskey Pagusi, yes, absolutely. Dram Fool Octomore pick, I would definitely try I think that you because would. it's Dram Fool. Have you tried yeah. Dram Fool? I have three of his bottles, and I can't ever get him soon enough once he starts selling them. God, I, I hate getting that what email and being late. Independent it bottle. doesn't matter. Just some independent bottle, dude. Just make some freaking bomb stuff. picks. Sounds like a fool. Dude's uh-huh. amazing with his picks. He's a yeah. freaking savant. So I can't say what's in my glass because what's in my glass is actually one of my, uh, you know, topic today Ooh. all right so okay. i guess for I almost me, did that. um i'm finally cracking open the abelau abana alba Ooh. finally after 100 years so i took the photos did the post and time to open it i have to admit though this wax seal was a lot easier to open than the previous ones but really? i did have to use i did have to use a knife though because usually they have a tab because you have small hands mine had a tab mine didn't have a tab or it was buried in the wax so gross yeah. you know what i've never tried it i need to try it it's amazing also did yeah. uh am i the only one who bought new bottles uh no i bought new bottles which is part of my conversation yeah go for it guys now i gotta think on this one Whew. i mean i bought new bottles i don't know what you're going to say you want to just tell you what i bought first yeah what did what did you since mine are not part for of the it. conversation yeah go for it go separate. for it okay <clears throat> bottle number one I, I this is one i didn't buy uh but two of them got sent to me so I could work on a project. Mm-hmm. Anyways, product's done. So I'm going to talk about one of the bottles because I drank Ooh. more than half the other one. But it is the Highland Park gas strength. <laughs> and, yeah, is uh, that out yet? Because I've been seeing it on the on people's I am feeds. I mix on this one. Uh, every time I go <clears throat> back to it, because the other bottle's open, every time I go back to it, I find myself confused about what it is that I'm really tasting. Um, you mean just like flavor wise or like no like like at 63.3% the heat is too hot so a little bit of water does help to open it but I feel like it actually has a little more complexity than I expected which mm-hmm. is weird so it's good it's different um, price point it, it, I think it's because it doesn't have any like Highland Park peat that I, I get weirded out by it uh, I don't know what the price point is like I said they sent me two so nice uh, I don't so know the you're is. still f- on the fence with it though, so you, you, it's not like you recommend I, it. I, but I am correct. If it was like, if it's fifty bucks, yeah, go get it. If it's remember. eighty to a hundred dollars, I don't know. That'd be rough. That'd be rough. I really haven't gotten into it enough to know for sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Second bottle that I bought, Old Forester single barrel from Jack Rose. Jack Rose ninety dollars. So I went and grabbed it. Uh, I wish it was ninety dollars. This uh, no, sorry, the Highland oh, Park casting. It? It's ninety. Nine zero. <laughs> I 
That's that's a little rough. I was gonna say this single barrel was thinking one hundred and twenty dollars plus tax, which is almost one fifty. Thanks, DC. Um, this old Forester is actually pretty good. It's not bad. I'm a little like more interesting than I thought it would be. I am a fan of Old Forester, but that's... It's uh, not like regular simple, Old yeah. Forester. I hate Old Forester 1920. Yes, I know you do. Um, I think 1897 I like is better. 1910 oh, is better. Hurt. Like, literally everything is better than... 19... Um, but I do like some 80s Old Forester stuff, and this is more reminiscent of that. Like, it has much more... Uh, Damn, it's got to good caress. It's much more just delicious. Got a little bit from... What about uh, you, Bianca? What uh, what did you pick up this week? I have one more box. Oh, you do? Then? Oh, you, you sidetracked into the chat, man. I, I thought you were better, done. I know better I than so... to go before Wally stopped speaking. I spent so much money, that's why. So, Uncle Nearest, uh, 1820. Uh, this thing's actually pretty good. Uh, it's got yeah. a little bit of rye spice to it, but not in an annoying way. It's just enough. Don't add water, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. um, so, the way it is neat at, like, what is this, 57.5%. Um, rye spice, super good. Flavor, super good. I was, I'm very impressed by it, but I'm only half impressed because Jack Daniels knows what they're doing. So I, I don't know why we should even be surprised by how good it is. So I agree. Yeah. Up there. Fair enough. And yeah, Jira and Coke 2020. Come Are on. you done now, sir? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to be a prima donna. <laughs> <laughs> when you go straight to chat, man, that's a signal for you to be like, all right, he's done. No, it just means I get distracted because I see all these like things. I see Christian laughing I about know. stuff. I see Drew laughing about stuff. Scotch fans talking about BTAC and Pappy, and like this picture was going around the whole DMV area. What <laughs> you the whole like D uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia area got the Pappy drop at one time. Costco got the entire Pappy drop, right? All of Pappy from you know, even though it's older Van Winkle, ten, twelve, yeah, all the way up to twenty three, and and they got all the BTAC. There is a picture of a dude with a cart. You're allowed one bottle of each. He has all of the bottles in his cart, and he's rolling out. And one bottle of each? Like, it. he bought a bottle yeah. of each of them? or He bought he bought a bottle of all of them. So all the B-Tax and all the Pappies. So this guy got every single bottle, and he has a list and a paper in his hand, and you know he's going to come back in and buy more. But the guy's like, you can see all the stuff in his cart. And he posts, he had the audacity to post on a couple of groups online. And he was like, hey, guys, Costco opened at 10 o'clock today and had them all. So, you know, there's still some here, I think. And wow. rolled out. I'm like, okay. But he only got one of each, though, right? Dang. Correct. Well, but, I mean, you don't think he was running with one other person or a mule? Come on. I'm sure he got more than that. The dude had a cart full of crap. I was like, oh, my gosh. That's Dang. what happens when you wake up early, man. No, it's what happens when you get lucky on the one day they drop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Christian, on the, on the Highland Park Whiskey website, it says $90. So. 90 bucks. Oh, but he's saying between it must be 60 to 80 that's interesting. It's it could be. I think it could it, be. I think it's 60. I feel better about it than a 90. 90. I'm... Yeah, I'm just looking at their website on the US website. So maybe MSRP is 90 or – but no one really goes on uh, under MSRP. So that's, yeah, that's no. what it says right now. So that's what I see. And it's MSRP like – MSRP is set by the distillery. And it's 60 assuming... euros to 98 euros. So whatever that can do. It never converts because of that. But, but yeah. Um, All right, Bianca, it's now. your turn. Hope you're ready for mine. So I'm, I'm gonna born ready. <laughs> so actually, I was in, I'm gonna switch it up because I was going to include it, include this one in, in my top three picks, but that I go to. But since I already had five in my head that I go to, um, I'll just replace it. However, I ended up having to replace this one, the Buffalo Trace, the good old trusty Buffalo Trace. Oh, yep. store um, I bought it this week I don't think um, it is. along with some other bottles, non-whiskey related. Um, and I got excited because in Miami, it's tough to find this for $26. Usually it's like in the 50s. Wait, uh, what? Like regular Buffalo Trace or store picks? Regular yeah. Buffalo Trace, no store pick. It looks like a store oh, pick. Oh, this one is a store pick. The other one yeah, the sticker. <laughs> yeah, the like, sticker confused me too. <laughs> So this is not the one that I, this is the one that I bought. Sorry. Wait, that's fifty bucks. So this one was forty six. That was okay. a store pick, and like a full, I bought it because I got so excited and I love yep. this so much. And then, uh, but this one is the one that I bought this week. Because the question was, what bottles did you buy this week? Yeah. I bought this baby right here. Costco all the time has one seven fives for thirty six bucks. Yeah, like the big ass ones. Awesome. You gotta go to Costco. <laughs> Go I, would, I, would, I would have you pay buy it and then ship it to me. I'll pay for the, <laughs> the extra for just so I can get a better deal. Um, I got, but, so I got really excited because I was the the same store. I ended up having like a deal for champagne. I bought champagne. I don't have it with me. 
And they got some port. It's uh, I think port is a really good Ooh. thing to add if you're a whiskey lover. Port. Just uh, add some port into your your mix as What'd well. What'd you get? What'd you get? Port. What'd you get? Um, bin twenty seven. Bin twenty seven. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Also get at Costco for way cheap. Bin twenty seven at Costco is like fifteen bucks a bottle. Yeah. Well, this one was a large bottle, kind of. It was like thirty bucks. So I don't know if this this was like, like seven fifty. Large... Yeah. Yeah. So normal bottles. Okay. Yeah. I, good stuff though. Still in it. Expensive <laughs> stuff. Costco's That's the only thing I can buy at Costco too. They won't do hard liquor, but they do port. So, okay. Ooh, Christian says duty free in Miami. It's two of those Buffalo Trace for forty. Yeah, the liter in my Ooh. town is twenty eight dollars for a liter. You just travel here with a puppy and get me all the bottles you can get. And the one seventy five is fifty. And right. Kevin, I haven't seen that interview, but I've heard people talk. Michael yeah. last weekend. Ah, right, we'll take a look at that, Kevin. Thanks for uh, sharing it. That and there's a Heaven Hill article that's going around a lot about the secondary market. Yeah, yeah I'm not like I don't know about the secondary market nowadays, but anyway. Um, do you buy Charles? Let's see. I did not buy anything. Um, I've been buying retro gaming stuff. Yeah, hmm. a lot of Nintendo stuff. Remember, he a lot of Game Boy toys. Nintendo. Trying to read my childhood. He posted a picture of his daughter in dirty diapers while he played on brand new game. In my head, I'm like, my daughter's not in diapers, bro. What the hell? Can She's I smart. show you guys? Something I don't know about kids, it? man. <laughs> She's smart. She lost that shit ages ago. I don't know about kids. <laughs> Legit lost that shit. What's up? If you want to share something, though, because yeah. I'm really excited about it since it's the... Um, so tomorrow... Uh, Is that a toothbrush? We're having a, a Scotch Trooper fundraiser thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I ended up joining, like, the, the earlier tasting, so whiskey tasting. And I'm getting a box full of, like, so, I don't know, six different samples of rare whiskey. I haven't even had a time chance awesome. to open it because I literally just got here and went straight to this this meeting. Uh, our yes, meeting. this meeting. This is, uh, We're meeting. Work. Oh, yeah, meeting. Our wonderful show that's supposed to You better to be. work. <laughs> <laughs> you better work, Maserati. But the, most, the <laughs> best part about the whole thing was the glasses? how free are these glasses? <laughs> they are pretty cool. I do like it when uh, brands give you sunglasses and stuff like that. They do some pretty cool stuff. Well, because they, they fold it. I, I like wearing fanny packs a lot. Weird fact. So these fit perfectly. I'm, I'm, like, I, I'm done. I'm like, I have but a fanny yeah, pack. What are you talking about? I think I'm glad. I'm happy to. The I'm trying to give her an excuse that she's not Asian. Asian. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's an Asian thing. I have a coach <laughs> yeah. fanny pack that I wore on the, my crossbody. Yeah. I'm one of those guys. Oh, you talking about one of the, like, the sling packs. and That's not the same thing. Oh, it's no, not a sling pack. It's a fanny pack. pack. I don't have a sling pack yet. I'm thinking about no, like, a, thinking legit my, fanny pack. I want to make that my my Christmas present to myself, like a nice expensive one. Those shoulder bags, yeah, shoulder bags are uh, super Asian. Yeah. Asian or Asian skaters. Skaters do that. Skaters, I can see that. Yeah, pockets and yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, no. Um, thank you for mentioning it, Bianca. I wanted to mention this uh, later in the show, but we can do it right now. Uh, so tomorrow at eight eight to ten p.m. Um, tonight's poison's hosting a Zoom call to help raise um, funds for uh, the Scott Trooper. So um, if you guys can make that, that'd be great. It's a great Listen to me. Thing. If you guys are whiskey enthusiasts, and I know everyone that is a whiskey enthusiast, and we're only going to be talking about this on the live stream one time, and I will never mention it again because technically it is not – It is technically it is less than legal. Yeah. There are some incredible bottles that will yeah. be available for a imaginary auction that may or may not be hypothetically happening. happening. <laughs> um, there, there and there's more than that. Like speaking of Julian Van Winkle, there's gonna be like there's some sick stuff that people have thrown in the pot to make sure we raise some money yep. to uh, eradicate. So know, and, and since it's recorded, so time. November 11th. So for people, but yeah, so Better tomorrow time. Wednesday. Yep. Uh, I, I think well, it's thing. eight o'clock, right? Eight p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. For you, it's it's uh, five thirty. Oh no, it's back. 8 p.m. minus Six. three hours, bro. Yeah, no, I was like, okay. what? I know. I thought, I thought right. for some reason, I keep thinking he's in Arizona, so I don't know what time he's in. Sorry, five. Yeah. I don't know why I added three to the eight. Okay. It's usually what I do for you. It's at 11. Yeah, 11. He'll be in the middle of the. At, I'll be like, like what the hell's happening, guys? Um, but yeah, so um, very excited for that. Um, if you guys can make it, it'd be great. Um, help him out. You know, um, sadly, this was it this year you found out that he had cancer? Yeah, uh, I think year? it was end of last year, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, so uh, always great for other people to you know help out and um, you know help his family out as well. So, for yeah, sure. Chris, Christian is reminding us that it's the beginning of the German holiday Fasching, which is where you begin to start drinking. Um, in case you didn't get enough in Oktoberfest, then you won't stop drinking until the new year. So enjoy. 
Cheers. Don't look me. Prost. Prost. <laughs> and on that note, um, on to the topic. So um, we thought about it would be nice to uh, kind of share the three bottles we've been drinking, our favorite bottles. It doesn't have to be from this year, but um, let's, I guess, start off with Walt. We'll go one by one. I think that would be the best way to do it. Okay. Sounds amazing. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is the toll of no, I did not get one of those pre-fire SCN bottlings. And I saw a couple pop up on the secondary already, which is interesting. What's this um, pre-fire SCN? I have no <laughs> idea what that even means. What is... <laughs> so... Pre-fire. So for anybody who's a bourbon nerd, pre-fire Heaven Hill was before Heaven Hill that had the fire. Wow. Okay, cool. So there's still like some mad awesome whiskey that's available. That's still the out there? Yeah. Huh. yeah. That still gets bottled. So um, we were talking about the th- top three whiskeys that we keep going back to. Mm-hmm. It, during covid slash 2020 like this whole year and uh one bottle that i recently opened at the end of august i keep going back to uh so and i'm drinking that now and i figured i would show it because obviously i have a problem Hi, beast. as you can see that this bottle is nowhere close to where <laughs> i knew line, that you were gonna have the best bottle where the oh. full line is because i absolutely love this bottle um i wish i could share it with everybody on the whole planet and the, the, the first one of these that I did open, I did share with, like, so many people. It was stupid. I shared more than half the bottle. Um, but this one, I think, because I don't know when I'll be able to find another one. I'm hoping to get some connections soon to do that. But if mm-hmm. I can't find another one. Should have gone to Costco, like, dude, at 10 a.m. Literally. Gonna, I know. Should have went to Costco. God, Costco, why can't you email me? But, yeah, so I, I think this one is going to be mostly, like, just me drinking away COVID. So. And no, Bianca, I wasn't planning to get special bottles. I was thinking of what do I keep going back to. Back to, to it's weird, yeah. It's like three bottles this year that one which i've been going back to like like i said a stupid amount i'll like pour nips just because i'm like whatever let's just get a little and like i, I keep going back to the same three bottles, bottles over and yeah. over again so uh, i'm literally that's... picturing you like look putting that bottle on the shelf and then like it's like calling your name so you're like yes baby don't worry i will never leave you i'm gonna keep coming back to you i mean that's kind of like what you're he's probably gonna fill that bottle up with something else do you it. have a camera in my room yes yes <laughs> I, do. Creepy. I know yeah. you're not wearing any pants right now. Do you like what you see? <laughs> <laughs> the Frodo 18 Wilderness Trail and Nika. Ooh, the good, good Check choice. Back, I, see that. I mean, minus that Nika, but hey, it's fine. Oh, the Wilderness is so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for sure. I'm telling you. So, Bianca, wilderness. what's uh, what's in yours? Right. Or what's your pick? One of your picks. Okay. I'm gonna, so, the, the weird part oh, is, so I had a really tough time with this because I went like, I like, bottles that I was actually consuming since March until now. And then I realized I need to actually stock up on some of them. So my example is actually an empty bottle. <laughs> so That's fine. Uh, um, I really love this Jack Daniels. I think this single barrel select is one of the best. Um, well, it's not bourbon, you know, it's an, whatever. It's bourbon, not bourbon, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that it's tasty and just it's my go-to for so many things. It's a great price, and the one liter option is probably my favorite thing. So this to me is a solid pour, um, and you feel a little bit you feel a little bit fancier because it's not just the regular Jack Daniels, right? So, I see that, yeah. Because it yeah, tastes a million times better. Like a candle holder, or maybe if I cut it somehow to make it. It's. A, I, well, I was it's literally. A- I was literally going to ask you to send it to me, <laughs> but like, yeah. A no. decanter or something. Well, I, I can see that. It's you. a pretty bottle. Seriously, I'm just keeping, I, I literally have stopped throwing away bottles because I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, but turn them into projects. They make lamps. Yeah. They make all kinds of stuff. Cut the bottles out. They make, they so make are smart. you buying another bottle or are you going to, what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another uh, single barrel? Yeah, I'm going to buy another one. So it's always um, a good I'm also, indicator. I'm not going to lie. I'm also friends with the Jack Daniels rep. So I'm slowly like kind of hoping like, oh, Bianca, I need hey, you to. Hey, I lost this. Like, yeah. hey, oh, by the way. Okay. That's always a good. <laughs> That'd be such a small write-off for them. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I bet it's 20, it's 30 bucks for them. I love it so much. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I guess I'm going to follow suit with Walter and not have something crazy as he is, but having a ball that I can't get again for a very long time, I guess. I've been um, picking up this one a bit more. The Ooh. Highland Park 15 that we picked up. Uh, totally kind of like you where um, it just, you know, those COVID days where you just feel, you know, a bit down and stuff like that. You want something, you know, to pick you back up and have a big, you know, have that story yeah. to tell. Um, yeah, just a sad thing. I've been just been inching its way down. I, I don't pour heavy, but it just sometimes just you good. want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I just, yeah, just something like that. And I, th- I think it's more the memories. And it's it's just good whiskey nonetheless, but it just the memories kind of bring me there too. 
Right. No, the Gavilan Boardcast. Yeah, I saw Pierre mentioning it, and this one to me is so special to me too. But is it on? Is it on your hold, list? Hold on a second. Is Christian, it on your, it's not what is part this? of my conversation, by the way. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I was Christian, say. what is this? Put a combatant fish inside of the Jack Daniels bottle, and, like make a, like a like a like an alpha male beta tank. Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably good. Just let him a bit fight too to small death. though. Put a, put, a, put a second one in there every so often. Let them fight to the death. What's Man. going on? Why so aggressive? I don't know. Christian says crazy things sometimes. I know, I know. You have to see, sometimes he just replies to like my morning stuff and it's like, Random. what are you thinking? <laughs> Where do you come up Those with Those are the best people. Genius. <laughs> Something's wrong with us. That's why. Comments. So, Walter, what's, uh, what's uh, next on your list? Number two. Number two I got introduced. Ooh. And then I got mm-hmm. obsessed. And then I bought some more. I just got recently tagged on two more of these, but I'm not going to drop another box. Um, it is the Springbank 10 Local Barley, nice. which was way too easy to fall in love with. And if you're a Springbank fan, it's got the classic Springbank flavors on top of a ridiculous level of fruit that's also in there. And it tastes incredible. It's fantastic. So also, everything is done locally there at Springbank. No place about the Local Barley. So if you haven't tried any of their Local Barley ones, I heard the 9's not that great, but the 10 is... I can swear by the 10. I heard the 16 is even better, but the 10 is absolutely fantastic. Is. It's so good. You're going to mark that down. That's really good. interesting. Yeah, you're marked that down for to Bianca, man. Bianca needs a sample. Sample, yeah, sample. I need to give you guys a sample of, of the, famous, the infamous Bakta that everybody loves. Never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of it. Is that, is that like and a whiskey or? Is that a, is that a whiskey? Or is it rum? Or? Is it an Italian whiskey? Because it sounds Italian. <laughs> It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's an Italian spirit, like it from the dead. Yes, it will haunt you. Yeah, it's too expensive for my blood, but if if you're willing to share, we're willing to drink. I will. I am willing to share. So, this one going back to Scotch, uh, because I feel like when I look at the things that my go-to ones, it seems that I'm not the Scotch girl. And by the way, guys, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, guys. Um, I went for like I guess maybe I was doing a lot of drinking during this year or something. But I went for things like, like yeah, my go-to ones are the ones that I can actually like afford multiple, multiple times to replace during these months. Uh, I, w- I could have gone for some fancier stuff. Next, we need to we need to coordinate better. So no, if I'm gonna die in the middle of COVID, I want to die sipping PVW twenty three. I would eat local barley. I want to die drinking the best of what's available. See, I don't think we're, you know I'm not planning on. T- <laughs> like if COVID was gonna kill me, I want to be drinking freaking the best whiskey that it can go in. Inject it into my veins, just screw it. Direct. <laughs> exactly. Freaking IV it. Uh, so, I love this one going at twelve. I think it's my. Fa- I actually like it better than the fifteen and the eighteen. Oh, I absolutely love the twelve better than the fifteen. Interesting. Absolutely. Um, I have my days with the eighteen, right? So it's like it's one of those that you have to be in the mood, have the right setting. I don't know. Just it's different. And when you love it, you love it, and then and sometimes it's not, it's kind of like underwhelming. But I think the 12 is a solid pour for the price, and I, this is my second bottle, it's uh, sealed. The one that's, that I just recently finished is empty and behind, like, in the cabinet to my right, you can't see it, but uh, I love it. Oh, you're on your second bottle, that's always a good, a good sign. And oh, to be honest, it's a good yeah. classic. Yeah, to me it's a, it's a classic, for sure. I'm um, so glad you guys approve. It doesn't matter as long as your palate approves, right? That's all that matters. 12, I did see the price on that Dram Full Brook Laddie at 190 and I still want to get one because aren't they like 28 year olds? It That's not bad. So 190 for 28? It still sounds Reasonable. so good. I'm, finishing, I'm, I'm finally finishing the sample. I was holding off on it to be in front of Wally to do it. Boom. Don't do it. Um, For me, I think I'm this is. I'm not offended, but it's your insides that will die. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> they're, nose. They're, they're jumping for joy. There you go. Uh, for me, it's I've been reaching this hedonism out, especially in the first half of the year. Ooh, almost grabbed that one. Every month, I've at least had this touch my lips. So yeah. it's interesting because I personally think the price it is overpriced for my opinion, but it's such a good whiskey that I just keep coming back to it. Especially when I was drinking, uh, I was smoking some cigars, always having at least a glass of this. Maybe even I think I had three glasses in one night of this at the start of the year. So. It's any nice. indication that I enjoyed this, it was definitely one. So, uh, if you guys have the money and you're willing to, you know, spend a little bit, hedonism is definitely a recommendation for me. Sweet. It's super yeah. good. Of all the compass boxes, it's still my favorite. Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot. Have you had it, Bianca? Uh-uh. 
No. Mm-mm. Ooh. All right, we gotta save some. Oh my up. gosh, it's expensive, but it's worth the hundred bucks, hundred ten bucks. I don't want us to send each other anything. I want to like be able to say that we're gonna meet in person and have our I'm first cool uh, whiskey untitled live in person. So I want you both to save your samples to give them to me in person. <laughs> I guess we're bringing bottles. Screw mm-hmm. the samples. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Walter, you're up next, buddy. What you uh, got? I just chat real quick. Whiskey's the reason you haven't gotten COVID. Uh, Kevin, I think you're correct. I actually think that I was exposed to COVID back in January. It's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah, I think most um, of us were. Uh, Lisa, Whiskey 12 is greater than the 15th for show. Uh, Drew, you're wrong. Uh, Christian, Oloroso hater. Nobody hates Oloroso. So. Oh, my God, no. I love Oloroso. You just got to mix a little PX in there, and it's all good. Uh, Scotch fan, what did you trade all those for? Weller single barrel to me is trash, but it goes for like what three, four hundred bucks on the secondary. The handy will go for like four or five, and the old rip will go for old rips. I'm going for stupid lately. I don't know. Yeah, you right. didn't like the handy that I gave you, so yeah, I'm not a big fan, just being not a big fan of handy. Paul John Oloroso, what, I mean, what are you trying to show us that you have a this box of nutty, nutty cherry? With me? Is that the Christmas one? That's not the Christmas one. No, it's, no, it's not Christmas. That's Oloroso. Christmas is in a green box. You don't like Oloroso, Wally? I love Oloroso. Okay, me too. Oloroso is... PX. It's the reason why I love McAllen and Sherry's. a few other brands. like you know, Sherry in general. Sh- I'm a yeah. I'm a port fan. Oloroso. but And all of the Sherry's that are mixed up versions of Oloroso PX and everything else, it all smashes together. It's all good. It's all good. It's all okay. dessert wine. Yep, yep. Oloroso, I, need, I can't scroll up to the comments to see, but... Oh, you watch. just look to look to the side of the screen. No, you. I know. we already read the rest. If you weren't <laughs> catching up, you're not catching up. I can't. I can't Let me get the last three comments before I get the which we call it. By the way, I'm playing with the uh, the scroll on the side. They can't see. Yeah, they right. can't see that. <laughs> see, we need to have Scotch family. Yeah, sixteen saw turns finish. Ooh, sixteen saw turns finish. Man, if it's safe to go in Miami, dude. But you know, I guess you know masks don't go well with bikinis. So yeah, I actually can't go anywhere more than a hundred miles. But you guys. Oh, uh, here. So maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. I, which I which I doubt because they're now saying the numbers are going up in some places. Oh, we're getting we're locked down in January for sure. So we're supposed to be locked down to the middle of January, and now they're talking late. And I'm like, why are we doing this? My work just basically pulled everybody out and said, you guys are all staying home. I hate all of this. All you right. You traded all three of those bottles for an EHT 18? You made it like a freaking bandit. The wow. EHT 18-year marriage is going for 1800 on the secondary yep. right now. Yeah, that's why why she's so happy the next day. She's just like, screw it. Holy <laughs> balls. She made out like a that's bandit. Awesome. Good for you. And for what? Say the Weller Single Bros. Five, Handy Five, an old rip. Say six. You still made out like a yeah. bandit. Jeez. All right. What's your What's your third bottle, bud? Somebody got hosed. And my third bottle, which I've been going to for since last year when I received it for free. Um, <gasps> I, I can't stop drinking it. You can tell it's free because I ripped the bot sticker off the back so I can make it look prettier. Yeah. Uh, it is the Michter's Single or Michter's Ten Year Straight Rye. For me, the Ten Year Straight Rye from 2019 is absolutely fantastic and it's just a vanilla bomb that makes you happy and so like when you're having a bad day and you're like man i just want without getting a bottle of liquid vanilla did you get two bottles of that this year no this year they sent me the 10 bourbon and the 10 rye again and then they sent me and i don't think this was dan's second i think this was second batch this is his correct his second, second year his second. first year this night this 10 year was phenomenal this year, I went back to it after a week, and it was a little better, so I'm hoping that it just gets better in the bottle. This one was just good off the bat. The 19 was just phenomenal. Nice. Rip six, handy six, what is number five? Dang, that's how they valued them? Hmm. Handy coming in at six? But then again, it's like, what did you pay that's for it, right? Seven, that's still 17. She paid nothing for it. She ripped, she paid $69. That's why I'm saying like, $89 yeah. in, well, a single bar, she paid 50 bucks. You made out. You did well. <laughs> she made out like a bandit. All right. Bianca, you're up. What's uh, okay. your third Before last? Before I actually oh. continue with my portion, yeah. I would admit something on air. <clears throat> All right. I have, yet, juicy. I have yet to try a Michter's that I actually enjoy. That's fine. Okay. Two two questions. One, have you tried Michter's Barrel Proof Rye? Not toasted, not any of their stupid. The regular. Just the regular Barrel Proof Rye. No. Okay, and the second one, have you tried Michter's sour not mash? toasted, just regular sour mash? Yes. You didn't like it? I wasn't a fan of it either, dude. You're on that bo- you're on that weird boat. I, I might be on that train by myself. It's like the thirty five dollar real good train. Yeah, you're on that I, weird boat. 
feel like it's overrated. I don't. I try to enjoy it, and I want to. I really well, overrated, but their barrel proof ride doesn't. It, their barrel proof ride to me is closer to Wilderness Trail than it is to a regular ride. Like it's so sweet and it's so lacking rye spices that it's hard not to like. I really think we should do the Bourbon Trail, all of us. I think that'll be the first group one. I think yeah, and we'll all get COVID. After that's that, sweet. yeah, Kentucky they don't wear masks, but still. I know they don't wear masks. Okay, so I'm I'm not going to Buffalo Trace was my third pick, so I'm going to switch it up. So yeah. give me one second. Let me roll on over here. And she actually rolled. Look at those candles. Oh, so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about those candles. Uh, so no, this we won't. <laughs> is right now one of my favorites. This is my second bottle. Yeah. And I love it. Oh, the Glenglassa? Oh, Evolution. I think it's such an easy sipper. I am trying to figure out how do I show you. Yeah. I think it's it. um, super good. Um, if you have not tried it, I think you definitely should. What's um, kind of the, the what's what's the one note that you could, if you could pick it? Oh my gosh. Um, I just think it's like light caramel, I would say. Okay. Um, let, me re- let me nose it again from the bottle. Is that a thing? Can we do that? Mm-hmm. Do whatever you want. Yeah, definitely. I, mean, I, I, I don't ever think it's effective, but no, I'm nosing is more, more like vanilla, like vanilla bean, to be honest Ooh. with you. But I just think it's good. Um, it's, it just brings me sunshine and happiness. And it's a $35 uh, bottle, Bianca? Yes. Uh, $35 bottle? That's not bad. I was, it's in the 40s. It's, it's in, in Christian. Oh, it's in Christian's house. So it's $35 in Christian's house. Uh, <laughs> good luck. You'll never get to exit. $35. Never get to exit. Oh, totally. I still got to help you out there. Boom. All right, I guess. Bianca might like bomb burgers. Shanks and bomb burgers, those are a weird couple of mictors to me because Shanks, I don't like at all. And I think one of them I have that's almost empty, and the other one I have is like super full. I think it's Shanks that I don't like, and bomb burgers taste like chocolate chip cookies. So I, I think most people yeah, just like it. I don't, We're stuck. I don't know if that's really like a, a good way to judge Mictors. No wilderness trail for us. Sad times. Why? Can't get it here. It's just not oh. up in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Like. Doesn't like this weather, I guess. Charles, show us your... My last one. You know that's me. I, I to have to bring up a Scotch Milk Society bottle. bottle. And so I was trying to... F- bottle. I know, right? I was trying to figure out the third one. It was a bit hard for me. But then I started looking at you know, basically the bottles, how much they have left in it. And it, I didn't realize that I've been grabbing this Glen Toshers in the dark of the Glen abyss. Glen Toshers? Glen Toshers? So I'm, I was really surprised. Like this is actually one of the most, besides the Glen Scotia one is this one's like halfway through. Nice. So I've been reaching for this for some weird reason, but when I'm looking at the refill, but X Oloroso, it kind of shows that that's what I'm going for. So it was just really interesting. So I'm, I i don't really remember a lot of the notes, but I guess I've just been going for it, and I'm assuming it's just going to be dark raisins and stuff. So I have to go back, and I'll report back. But um, As opposed to Sultanas, which are light-colored raisins? And when I'm uh, – what else? Oh, Sarah Mash. When you guys were um, just showing off your bottles, um, I've been sipping this Alba a lot, and I can see why you guys like it. Oh, it's so good. That, I got a ginger spice off it. Um uh, with a dark richness, oh, you yeah, batch too, and um, touch the butt. <laughs> it, it's a bit too spicy. I might have to add some water, but overall, like it, it's a good dram. I will have to do a side by side to be honest to see if, which abana I like most, but it's yeah. definitely up there. I'm not gonna be like it's the best thing ever, me. but uh, tomorrow. I want to a... I I ask you both a, a, an actual other question. Yeah. Outside of whiskey, what bottles have you been port. reaching for? I mean, port, a lot of port. I know that during this time, I actually like been trying a lot of beers as well, um, whiskey <laughs> and donuts. <laughs> so have you been? Have you been reaching out? <laughs> whiskey and donuts besides, and whiskey, besides donuts. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of donuts. I have to admit, though, like having was it DoorDash? No, no, Uber Eats near me. I've been ordering a lot of donuts. Okay. But um, no, for me, for me, it's been port. It's been port and a lot of ciders, to be honest. Um, if I'm not yeah. drinking whiskey, it's it's port and cider. Okay. What are you, Walter? Water. Really? Okay. I mean, if it's not water, no beers? it's going to be chocolate no, milk. No, um, I drink a ton of chocolate milk. Ugh. I've been really... Uh... No raspberry beer? So 
uh, secret, I haven't actually gone to a lot of liquor stores in 2020. Uh, even for all the bottles that I've acquired, I've been doing <laughs> mostly secondary shopping or just going to Jack Rose to pick bottles up and leave, um, right. which isn't a liquor store. But uh, technically, for the most part, I think I've only gone to the liquor store maybe like four or five times this year, like in total. And I mean, that's like probably three times before COVID and probably twice during COVID. I've only gone once. I just, it's not where I just, I don't know. Yeah, I've I don't only know gone why once. I fell off my list no. so quick, but I've gotten I plenty we, of I bottles. I've the store more than you guys. Yeah. Which is yeah. crazy. I, was literally I think I've gotten more, I think I've gotten more bottles than you, lady. Well, I don't think so. I think she got way more bottles than you got this year. I don't think so. There's no, no way. No, 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 no. Don't think no so? way. No, Go no, back no. through all the Whiskey and Tattle shows. That's there true, we, though. You you do buy in bulk. I still buy bottles. Like this local Springbank 10 barley stinking. I bought two of them. I, I mean, like, when do I buy less? Even when I went to Jack Rose to pick up my uncle nearest, I was like, let me just grab another bottle that I got here. Damn, Drew. I, I can't Four help times. it. So let me let me actually make a comment and give a shout out. I Besides me personally going to the store, let us know. Uh, Society 305 goes on my behalf because we went to all the better liquor stores. So he buys oh, your drinks. Oh, so yeah, yeah. He, goes, he goes a couple times per week. He really does go a couple times a week. Ten to fifteen times a week, Scotch fan. What the hell? Like you, you live in a liquor store. Some people want to get that deal, son. Okay, well, now it's a competition. Okay, now so, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to go like twice a day. I'm like one. When, when my brother and I were getting these bottles for like eight hundred dollars, uh, we were going to the liquor store once a day. Every day. And buying days. something too. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not always buying something. Definitely always talking to the people. Talking to people. Without a doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. Every single day. I used to do that when I started getting my BTAX. It was like almost every other day. Yeah, it's good. Damn, three times like this. What, what did I miss here? Kevin said to put your thumb on the neck of the bottle when nosing. I don't going to actually make any kind of difference. Yeah, so he was it's like, not like a recorder. Shit. Oh, right? It's because I did this. You know, pinky out and thumb. That's oh, that's weird to me. I guess. Okay. I got it, Kevin. Don't worry. I didn't understand. Oh, that makes sense, Scotch fan. Especially if you're trying to get those big bottles. I, I had, I don't have disposal ink enough to, to go for pappies and BTEX. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's a thing, and it paid off in friggin' spades this time. So. Not, yeah. I actually want to add pappy to my collection. I really yeah, do. Listen, listen to Lisa at whiskey. See, I agree. Stay safe. Buy online illegally on Absolutely. Facebook okay. constantly. One hundred percent. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah. Group on Facebook and, group uh, is a great way to get some nice bottle picks. <laughs> or just secondary bourbon market. Crazy on... And guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, appreciate you guys spending your time with us. Appreciate all the chats, guys. Thank you. And if you guys are watching this on the replay, please feel free to put the comments down below. Uh, hit that like button. Um, follow us or subscribe to us if you haven't already because that's kind of weird oh, if you haven't. so you don't get snot on the bottle. Toll, that's uh, gross. We covered that in the very beginning. I'm sorry. Gross, man. Gross. And on that Just note. Bye. Deuces. Deuces. She remembered. Santa.